Tug Life. Tug Life. Tug Life's exciting. You know, if you look back to since I've been involved, or since TK has been involved in tugs, uh, particularly talking to Port Hedland, there's been a massive growth in Port Hedland. You know, we started off, I'll admit it was a fairly small, bit of a lazy operation with six tugs. We're now um, growing, um, we presently have 14 tugs. Um, with that, there's been the exponent exponential growth in um, numbers of employees. I think we started with, with just over 50. We're over 200 now. The, the Port Headlands in an area of Australia called, known as the Pilbara. It's, it's quite close to, to Caratha and Dampier, which are also um, iron ore and um, gas exporting ports. It's uh, roughly, oh, it'd be about 1,800 kilometres drive. It's a two-day drive from Perth. It's a two-hour flight. But it's um, one of the amazing things, if, you know, you often do day trips to Port Hedland, fly up in the morning, leave here at six o'clock and get back at about eight o'clock at night. It's amazing the amount of people you see on that flight who fly up and back for the day. You know, along that goes with the, you know, the number of ships we even do. We used to do roughly 50 ships a month, now we do close to 250 ships a month. And if you extrapolate that out over, over 12 months, that's more than 22,000 individual tug jobs in a 12 month period. So. It's a, it's a seriously busy operation. It, it's, it's the um, largest iron ore port in the world. In, in this financial year, they'll export some 420 million tonnes of product and continues to grow.